VChain price prediction 2022. Welcome back, guys. It's Crypto Rocco from Rockstar Trading Channel. In this video, guys, I've got some massive VChain news to share with you. So if you're invested in VChain or you're looking to buy VChain, make sure you watch the video till the end. Also, I'll share with you my thoughts on VChain on a longer ter longer term point of view. If you study the VChain project, if you look at VChain's use cases, VChain's price is extremely undervalued when you compare VChain's market cap to some of the coins that are above VeChain. VeChain is very undervalued. So I'll share with you my thoughts on why I think VeChain price hasn't pumped as much and potentially with some of the news I'll share with you, VeChain could start trend changing and pumping. I'll also share with you my price prediction. It won't be a Rockstar trading video without technical analysis. So the end of the video after I've shared with you my news and the thoughts on the project or what VeChain is and what it's looking to do, I'll share with you a trade setup. As you can see, VeChain has pulled back to my support zone we traded this VeChain move. I highly recommend you go watch my previous VeChain videos. VeChain is a popular coin on this channel and we trade VeChain live. And like other YouTube channels, we share with you exact buy levels, sell levels. Watch these two videos. I shared a live trade on Luna which had a really nice bounce level and also the Litecoin $100 bounce is, is worked quite well as well. So I'll share with you my trade setup for VeChain. As you can see, it's at a support. If VeChain can start breaking the trend line and start trend changing above there, I think VeChain could get a nice rally into this year. So I'll share with you my exact trade setup. So let's start off with what VeChain is. So VeChain is one of the leading enterprise blockchain solution provider. If you look at their use cases, they've got some huge, huge use cases. Cases. A couple of I've already talked to you about is you know the food safety traceability, logistic solutions for for more importantly for high high net worth items that is being shipped in you know, the digital value aided services that they provide uh, in the in. And in just the blockchain service the sustainability solution as well, they're, they're working on agriculture solutions. Uh, they've got very, very good supply chain management solutions as well. They're working in some many, many industries, you know, luxury good items, carbon footprint, consumer goods, alcohol, automotive. Uh, they've, they've got a very easy to deploy platform. They've, they've spent millions and billions on educating people and partnering with people trying to develop blockchain so it's an amazing project and like uh, like i mentioned at the start of the video you know most cryptocurrencies in you know above vchain don't really have any use cases don't have adoption yet they have high market cap i'll touch on that vchain long term but fundamentally that's what vchain do and like i said it's in more of an enterprise blockchain and they've got some huge partnership they've got huge growth in asia as well which we don't really see in the western english world we don't really see some some of the use cases some of the things that vchain uh, solutions blockchain solutions that vchain is working on let me know if you want like a detailed video just talking about vchain fundamentally what it works maybe create a presentation slide similar to what i've done with ohm and luna let me know in the comment section below and i'll make it like an explained video of just what VeChain does, it take like in a presentation format, explain to you what it what it does. But briefly, that's what VeChain is, and it's been one of the oldest, not oldest, but it's, it's, if you look at the top ten market cap, it's one of the more secure and older cryptocurrencies that that we can trust. You know, there's lots of new cryptocurrencies that come up that you can't trust, but VeChain has been around since you know twenty before 2017, and it's one of the most experienced cryptocurrencies on this list. So let's talk about what the price has done for VeChain uh, uh, recently. So VeChain, unlike most cryptocurrencies, had a huge rally. You know, everything went parabolic in 2020, uh, 2021, and this was our trade setup. We make some crazy money when it rallied. You know, we bought here, we bought here. Once VeChain broke below, this was our sell level. Once VeChain broke below, we were bearish. And since then, we took a trade here. We had a nice bounce. We were looking to buy VeChain. I actually took a loser there. So according to my trade strategy, we could not break above and hold above there. And now the bad thing is we've broken a key support level. And we want to see some strength coming into the market. So we want to see some trend change. We want to see volume coming in. If you look at the volume in the past few days, we've not seen much volume coming in. And we need to see that. And one of the points I'll make later on in the video when I talk about VeChain long term is that 
VeChain doesn't do crazy marketing. If you you know if you talk about Luna, you know that Luna doesn't do as much marketing, so that that's probably not a good example. But you know there's other projects that do crazy. So Crypto.com, for example, Binance, even Matic, they have crazy marketing. Shiba Inu, VeChain doesn't do that. So that's probably one of the things we need to see happen because you know price is moved when there's FOMO. People get excited about something. Cardano, sorry, Cardano is the best example about marketing. What Charles Hodgkinson does, VeChain doesn't do that. And the other thing is VeChain is not the shiny new thing. What I've found is in, in cryptocurrencies and, and for us, and I'll share with you exactly how I trade as well. VeChain, I'm, I've, I've, not, I've not bought VeChain already. I, in a Luna, I shared my trade. I'm buying Luna, staking Luna, because that's like a new shiny thing. And I've seen in cryptocurrency from my experience since you know, 2017, the, the shiny new things have bigger pumps, but long term, if a project is good, it will go up in the long term. So you have to think about VeChain long term because VeChain falls into that category of, you know, it's not like a hype coin. It's a fundamental use case coin. So those are a couple of things I'll touch on for VeChain long term prediction. But I think we need that. We need that hype. We need something to come up and so it can start trend changing on breaking higher. So at the moment, this is the support level. In long-term buy zone that I had shared previously, I said VeChain, if it comes back to, you know, below four cent to sort of two, two and a half cent, this is where I'd start buying VeChain aggressively. It's almost there. I'm not saying it will get there, but if it gets there, just look to buy. Same as Litecoin, I shared with you $100. It already came and bounced. Watch my Litecoin video. I go into the exact trade setup before it happened. I'm looking for something similar for VeChain around... Let me go back to the VeChain chart, sorry. I'm looking for something similar for VeChain in this red zone. If we can start seeing a setup, I think this is the time to buy. And more importantly, again, I'll share the trade setup at the end of the video, if you look at the VeChain BTC chart, it is, it is potentially forming a base and a trend line breakout. These previous breakouts had has huge rallies in VeChain. I could be wrong. This might not be the real breakout, but I'm going to look to trade it. If it, if it does this, uh, let me share that with you. If it does this, I'll take a loser and I'll try it again. When it breaks that again, I'll try it again. And you only need one or two of these trades to work out to get you know crazy gains. And this was when it went absolutely parabolic, almost a 10x gain uh, in, in VeChain. So it is a time to buy. Like I said, that's sort of what's happened with VeChain, what VeChain is. And let's have a look at some latest news now on VeChain. So the big news that I'm sure a lot of you VeChain investors are aware of is that Grayscale considers VeChain uh, and IOTA as Coinbase's four low cap, low cap coins. So the big news is Grayscale, one of the leading, they're the biggest asset manager in cryptocurrency. They are looking to add VeChain. And, you know, I want to be buying what smart money is buying Grayscale. They do their research. They're not, you know, like, even like myself, they're not a random person online or on YouTube telling you to buy. You want to be trusting smart money and they do their due diligence and they are looking to buy VeChain. So this is a huge positive potential, huge demand coming into VeChain. Hype as well, you know, hit that like button, comment below. If you like VeChain, promote your own coin. Hit, make sure you smash that like button, comment, and get the YouTube algorithms going. And more people watching would, you know, more people will be educated about what VeChain actually does. Because at the moment, like I've said, VeChain doesn't have as much hype as it did back in 2017. And lots of people probably are not aware as much of VeChain. So this is the biggest news. And like I've said, a couple of points to make on this news is that, you know, this is smart money. You want to be buying what smart money wants to buy, not what, you know, Tom, Dick, or Rocco online tells you to buy. So that is a positive. The second thing is this will bring demand and hype as well. More people will find out about VeChain. Some institutional investment companies will find out about VeChain, could potentially start bringing in more buy option. That is the big news for me and it is really positive news. My best trades happen when news and price break out together. And at the moment, this could be the case for VeChain. So if my trade setter comes up along with this, would like to trade. There's some amazing coins already breaking out. If Bitcoin holds this level, guys, uh, there are some amazing trades to be had um, one coin that we already long this week is Pegaxi. So this is a new gaming coin. Have you guys heard about it? By the way, I've put 10k in this game. You know, I'm not saying this will be the next Axie Infinity because everyone wants to be the next Axie Infinity. But let me know uh, if you're interested in this Metaverse coin. If, if you've heard about it, I'll try to make a video for you guys in the future. We're already trading Pegaxi quite aggressively in the group, and some people have already doubled their money, took their profits out. So yeah, let me know if you're interested in in Pegaxi, and um, if you are, want to find out more about Pegaxi and other how we trade live streams, calls. Says, I'll leave the links below for you to check out.
So that was the big news that I wanted to share with you. Uh, the second news uh, I wanted to share with you is uh, the V Chain working on green solutions. So we've already seen, you know, Bit uh, Elon Musk and people, you know, talking bad about Bitcoin because it's not really eco friendly and environmentally destructive. V Chain is working on on solutions that help with green that that are very economical, that are sustainable. You know, V Chain's already launched a digital carbon footprint SaaS service based on the V Chain Thor public blockchain. So, you know, they're already doing lots of work with it. And I think VeChain can really take the lead on it. And this could be another thing that, you know, grabs hype in VeChain. We, like I've, I've mentioned hype a lot because I am a trader. And the best thing for me is when the hype catches on, that's when we get the big trades. If you look at Cardano, Litecoin halving, Luna's Anchor Protocol and DeFi, TVL going up, you know, Chainlink 1000 integrations, the best trades to be had when, you know, all the news and everything lines up. So, you know, this is another thing in the future. Long term, again, this is not another hype news, but again, the positive news that VeChain is taking the right step and they're actually got products and services that have got adoption so this is another big positive for me in VeChain and some of the other things that other services that they provide like you know RFDT tags data can then be recorded onto VeChain you know digital couple footprint which I mentioned and also the, the green wash so the streamlining the so let me just read this bit streamlining consumer consciousness by providing users with total provenance and traceability effectively ruling out any attempt for businesses to green wash so they can help with that as well so another really positive news for VeChain Finally, this is news have gone under the radar slightly, but let me know what you think. I am actually really bullish on this news because VeChain stablecoin is probably one of the best reasons why my trade in Luna worked. We have seen the importance of stablecoin in cryptocurrency. USDT Tether had played a big part in the cryptocurrency rally in 2017 and has been, you know, one of the most important factors in the cryptocurrency growth. Recently, we've seen similar hype with UST. This is the uh, stablecoin on the Terra ecosystem. If you watch my Luna videos, you'll know about it. And VeChain adding this, this is probably the most bullish news for me because not, not a lot of people are talking about it if they can create a stable coin and stable coin has an important part to play in any ecosystem and if is a stable coin on the vchain ecosystem gets a adoption i think that will be huge huge for the cryptocurrency for vchain and not just vchain for the whole cryptocurrency market so vchain com community celebrated the announcement recently a user effort capital proposed a possibility for the foundation to create an algorithmic stablecoin such as luna with vchain for energy v thought as a collateral so i can read this thread it's an amazing thread but if this comes true i think this will be huge huge for vchain and again it's not happening yet but there's proposal on it i've seen it being talked about in a few other uh, channels as well where some key vchain uh investors if you want to call it or community members are talking about it and that's how things grow that's how things get built vchain research and development teams have been working on massive upgrade of the vchain through a blockchain called surface standing for secure use case adaptive relatively fork free approach to chain extension another smaller news slightly older is the vchain uh, welcomes new dex to ecosystem another positive news you get attention you get via you get all the i was going to say hype again but again these are things that help we've seen with luna it was tvl and DeFi. vchain dex again is another good addition to the vchain ecosystem and these are the things like you know um nfts dexes tvls those are the things that attract the normies or the new people that probably don't understand vchain as much this will help with vchain hype as well so those are the news element for vchain let's come into more of the longer term for vchain so just talking if you just have been watching this video you've already seen you know some of the use cases for vchain and how vchain plays an important role in the cryptocurrency and the wider world but it, taking all these things to consideration, you would expect VeChain to be put at least in the top 20. But VeChain is, you know, in, in 30, 36, you've got some metaverse tokens above VeChain. You've got Bitcoin Cash, you've got TRX, and Algorand. There's so many coins that are above VeChain. And you'd expect VeChain to be at least in the top 20. And, and the two reasons why I think it hasn't pumped as much is VeChain's marketing. They don't do half as much marketing as, you know, Charles Hodgkinson. You could see that as a positive. You could see that as a negative. For me, I probably say that it is a negative from a trading point of view because you need the hype. You need people to know about it. You could have an amazing product. But if no one knows about it, they're not going to buy it. They're not going to pump your token. So I think that is having an impact on the VeChain price, and that is why it's undervalued. This could be good news because... 
they might do some you know crazy adoption maybe potential marketing campaigns and if you're getting at these cheaper prices it could pump so marketing is the first one and then the next thing is sort of uh, the hype thing you know they're not doing they're not saying are oh, we launching these nfts we're doing this DeFi protocol with thousand percent apy i think those things help as well and like i said v chain hasn't really got that and and it's not the new shiny thing well from what my experience in 2017 if you look at the top 10 cryptocurrencies that were there before you know solana wasn't there solana is a new one luna is a new one and there's always changes to the top 10 polkadot avax you know atoms coming up there's always new coins in the top 10 you know litecoin is not even in the top 10 it's one of the oldest cryptocurrencies and i find it newer shinier things people get excited about people try and buy it pump it and apart from bitcoin ethereum we're gonna see that you know there's gonna be a newer coins come in people get excited about they get a huge pump and then it depends on are they gonna deliver so uh, that's another reason why i think vchain hasn't pumped and you can see even Chainlink, it was one of the leading cryptocurrencies it has fallen behind and you you know, we've seen meme coins like Doge and Shiba pump like crazy. So those would be a couple of reasons why I think VeChain hasn't pumped. Does that affect VeChain long term? I don't think it does. If you're thinking about VeChain like 20 years down the line, then VeChain is still an amazing project. And I think VeChain will do some cool stuff going forward as well. So that's my thoughts on VeChain fundamentally and VeChain long term. Just to finish off long term, if you look at VeChain's market cap at the moment, VeChain's market cap is around three and a half billion. If it could go into in the top 20, it could easily double. So it could easily double V chain price could easily double and it still be sort of industry standard the market standard so we will be keeping an eye for that so when to trade v chain before i look at v chain it's really important bitcoin it could have another dip but i really want bitcoin to hold above 30k if bitcoin holds above that breaks down below 30k whether you love v chain whatever you know v chain is the best best thing since you know since sliced bread or whatever get out i wouldn't be holding much cryptocurrency even my favorite coin luna i would look to get out as well if um, we're in a long luna trade if luna needs to hold 50 dollars by the way check out my twitter i've updated the trade we took in in this video so what's going on with the vchain usd price vchain usd price is at huge support level but it has broken a key support as well then it's come back here i don't know whether it will start trend changing now or whether it will pull back into my buy zone so the two setups is if vchain breaks down uh, bitcoin comes to 30k i would look to buy vchain around two and a half to three cent so that is my buy zone for vchain write that down if bitcoin comes to 30k if vchain comes here that is a all day buy signal for me i'm going to look to buy if bitcoin after it comes here if i'm, I'm pretty confident vchain is going to bounce i'm confident vchain is going to bounce and i'll be able to make some money but vchain breaks down after the same as you know litecoin gave us a nice trade from hundred dollars if litecoin breaks below hundred dollars i'd look to reduce my exposure look to buy back cheaper i will do the same with v chain so that is the longer term trade setup i'm looking at it's really important that v chain holds this support level the next thing for v chain is this red zone it's really important uh, if v chain breaks above this red zone if bitcoin doesn't dump and starts pumping from here uh, i think i'm happy to look to trade v chain above six cent and our trade setup is a trend change above and then breakout if we see something like this I'm going to look to buy VeChain. Make sure you have a trade setup. You can learn our trade setup. Again, I live stream two to four times a week. There's access to Telegram group, which mainly we're just making money on Pegaxi. Pegaxi has been crazy. I do want to bring Pegaxi to my YouTube content, but I've already got a few plans for YouTube. The videos I'm making after that, I'll make it. But yeah, if you are interested in the Rockta Trading Group, learn our trade setup, learn our strategy. Check us out. You can trial us for less than 30 bucks for a month. See if this group is for you. If not, it's amazing. But if you want to trial us out, you can try less for 30 bucks and so the trade setup we'll look for is a trend change above there we look for a pullback to a fibonacci and moving average to time it look to take v chain towards eight nine cent so that would that is the trade setup short time frame i'm looking at it's just a short time frame trade make sure you take profit because again if bitcoin dumps bitcoin is like the godfather whatever bitcoin does you know the old coin feels and effects of so bitcoin uh, you know sneezes everyone catches a cold in a way so you've got to be careful what bitcoin and that's why i always post an update people what's going on with bitcoin but that is a short time from trade setup so long term uh, if, if if v chain dips into so three three cents two and a half cents that is my dip buy level if it doesn't dip start trend changing i'm gonna look to buy v chain above there if v chain breaks out above there we get all positive news 
you know grayscale buy more vchain we get we see this is a vchain stable coin growth that's going to be huge you don't understand how big that could be and um, i'm going to be following that news and make sure you subscribe to the channel i'll make a update if vchain stable coin goes live and if we see vchain stable coin get used and they have a similar sort of minting and burning function like luna that could be big for vchain price as well because that's going to bring hype and uh, as you guys know I'm more of a hype trader that i use my strategy to get in and out so that's the video guys hope you guys enjoyed it let me know your thoughts on this video uh, long-term price prediction i think i said from looking at the market cap it could easily double so i'd say you know in the next few months i expect vchain to be on the 10 cent level after it comes here can it you know on the weekly time Time frame can it trend change i'll make more predictions in the longer term again people i can make longer term 10x 20x uh, price prediction in 10 years time but i need to see a lot of price action a lot of trend change a lot of buying volume coming in to make them but short term i'd expect v chain to be around the 10 cent level in the next few months so that's my prediction guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it guys smash that like button subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification button before i end the video what is your thoughts on v chain comment below your price prediction for v chain if you are interested in taking your trade to the next level and support the channel check out check us out guys join the group it'd be amazing to have some good community members joining and growing our knowledge together and making money together so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much